What are you working with? You're, you're using oils? Place that picture. Fuck. All right. So first things first. Are you are you working? Yeah, I did like that high ride, Lou. Are you working from a photograph? Okay, so we're using oils. What is your reference source? Are you working from a still life that you have set up right in front of you? Are you working from uh, your imagination? Or are you working from a photograph? Shooting a video at the game tournament. That's what's up. My homeboy Jess. I just was at my homie's crib, man. Smoke one and drink a beer with him. He's like, ah, right. going to the football game? I'm like, nah, I'm about to go home and paint. My girlfriend, she just came from her nephew's play football. She just came from a game. My homeboy is going to the game. 
art in the dark at, at a game. All right, so what we want to do is, <clears throat> so you got your photograph, right? So first thing is, when you're working for photographs, make sure it's high resolution so you can active shooter <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> just make sure you're an active shooter where it that's some real shit y'all got an active shooter over there gotta look at that news <sighs> all right so you want to you want to draw your image on your canvas My camera flipped around. Where is something I can read? All right, yeah, it's all good. Camera's all good. Murders at the Madden tournament for real? You lying, dude? Damn, I gotta check this out. So the first thing we learn, right, is a canvas. It's white. It's not good to paint on a white canvas. All right. So the first thing you do, take a photograph. Second thing you do, draw your image on the canvas. The third thing you do is get some black acrylic paint. Black acrylic paint. Outline your image. Just trace it so that it's black. And then once you outline your image you put a wash or you tone your canvas it's not good to paint on a white canvas you will be able to see the whiteness of the canvas through your paint your painting you know what i'm talking about right so this is always a good step is to tone your canvas to already give you a, a darker surface for the pigments to refract off of from your initial layer of paint after you outline your image, you tone your canvas, you want to do a underpainting. You your under your first layer of paint should not be pretty. Your first layer of paint should not be pretty. Say that one more time. Your first layer of paint should not be pretty. But at the same time, it's not going to be seen. Cuz you're going to paint over it and paint over it. So don't worry about the first layer. Your first layer of paint needs to be as dark as you can possibly get your tones without losing the image. So you wanna do a really, really dark blocked in filler painting, which is called the underpainting. So once your canvas is toned, you block your, your painting in as dark as you can get it. And most underpainting should look something like this. And this is where I use uh, raw sienna, and that's acrylic paint as well. So the black is acrylic, and the sienna is acrylic too, so it dries fast. And you want to, even when you apply your, your, uh, your, your tone or your wash, you want to thin it down really good then you do an underpainting make it as dark as you can get it wherever your darkest tones are in 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 the in your image you want to cover that canvas that way where is the darkest of the portion of red okay i want i want this apple to be really really dark i want that green apple to be really really dark to start with the whole backdrop and when you're working with oils which is different from almost every other medium because with pastels with tinsel or uh, graphite charcoal um, with watercolors you normally go from light to dark you you draw your image you get your colors and you slowly darken it in the areas you want it and that's almost 
for every other medium you go from light to dark you darken it up as you go you put a shadow here you put a shadow there with oil paints it's the opposite you go from dark to light and it makes that light shadow contrast easier to perceive when you start with a really dark image and you gradually layer by layer lighten up each tone until you get something like this in the end slowly carefully and patiently just lighten it up layer by layer layer by layer Take those tips. Send me some uh, some work in progress uh, pictures of whatever you're working on, so I can critique it for you. working to confirm his identity. Um, we have deceased victims at the scene. We also have injured people at the hospital and we will release counts later on. Deceased we victims don't, don't at the scene. Here today, uh, currently. We are aware of a video that is on social media. We have that video. Uh, but we would encourage people, if you have additional video or any other information about the incident, please reach out through 630-500, you know, our non-emergency number, through, through Crime Stoppers at you know, Office 1866 tips and share that information. You can also share it online at Jason Crime Tips and jacksheriff.org. So, as I mentioned, we just finished clearing the Jacksonville landing of, of potential witnesses, other victims, that type of thing. Uh, we have no outstanding suspects uh, at this point, and uh, we'll have, again, uh, more information and a full brief in a few hours. Uh, one thing I can add, we would encourage people not to come downtown uh, to, to spectate. We don't need that at this point. We got a very large crime scene downtown, a very large perimeter on this crime scene, and we will divert you away from that, obviously. So, uh, with that, a couple of quick questions. Sure. There's, there's a lot of speculation about what that is. Sorry, go ahead. Does it appear the suspect is from our area? We're here possibly Baltimore. Still waiting to be determined. There's a lot of speculation about what led up. Did you say anything about that? So, at this point, no. We'll, we'll, as soon as we have more information about that, we'll share. Did you see the out of the building? We are still working with the witnesses. How many witnesses? How many witnesses? Several, the several, several, several sure, witnesses. Sure, uh, you In the landing, as, and again, we'll have more detail about that uh, uh, as, you know, as the night unfolds. Any kind of specific information about about a, uh, a, a, a operation to try to get families information as quickly as we can. There's no question right now that I'm going to take Christian out. I'm here. There's a lot of good games going on. It's going to be hard to get on screen. It's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Oh,
a lot of good games going on. It's a lot. It's, it's, it's gonna be hard to yeah. get on screen. It's, it's not a, a lot. Yeah, it's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys clicked on this, it's probably because you are wondering what this is or what's going on. Um, obviously, this video is not going to be monetized for obvious reasons. Um, I just want, you know, as a member, because I was just, the video says, in tournament, any reported injuries at single landing where gamers were competing in the 2019 Madden tournament, obviously. Winners could take home between $100 and $1,000 with the top two gamers moving on to the finals. Police warned that the shooter was still active at 215. Right now, when I'm recording that, that is 17 minutes ago, the shooter was still active. So, um, this is another page here. This actually has the video clip, so I'm going to leave this one in, uh, in the description below. It's from Dex, Dex, Dexterto, I guess? Dexterto? De I don't know how to say it, but um, four dead is what's being reported, and I guess ten total victims is what I was reading, but again, you guys can check for yourself. But if you are going to watch it, that is what's being reported, and I guess 10 total victims is what I was reading, but again, you guys can check for yourself, but... Now, I know a lot of brothers play Madden and shit. I know a lot of brothers play Madden. Well, that's some white boy shit. I ain't gonna lie. That's the only other way I can say it, man. That's the only other way I can say it. That dude white, yo. That's a white boy shit. That motherfucker lost and killed 12 people. You lost and killed 12 people over video. Okay. I understand. It's the Madden Challenge. It's the tournament. There's a lot of prize money here. I get that. You... You played video games so well, like, you're so good at playing video games that you made it this far <laughs> at playing video games. You're almost the best gamer there is. <laughs> and then, and then you lose. <laughs> wait, wait. A, um, yeah, like a time lapse video. I have considered time lapse, but I have not sat down and taken the time to educate myself on how to make a time lapse video. Trust me, I know it's probably simple as one, two, three. I just haven't YouTubed it yet. That's all. Go to YouTube University. How to make a what is it? What I just call that shit? Fuck. A time lapse is what it is. How to make a time lapse video on your iPhone or on YouTube. And, and then you'll you have like 300 videos pop up and somebody with a personality, a voice, and a demeanor that you can uh, stand for a certain amount of time will walk you through the proper instructions on how to do that. I just haven't done it yet. But people ask me all the time. But then I can see like me compressing a time lapse video would take a long time because my projects take months, like a month, like weeks. And most of the time I don't have the camera like zoomed in. Most of the time I'm in the shot. For for a really good time lapse video, your camera has to be in the same spot throughout the process of the project and that's the best ones that I see you know when you move the camera and the lighting changes kinda it it looks nice but not as good or professional so I've thought about doing it I'm lazy just be honest But my man Art in the Dark said this motherfucker <laughs> he lost. The guy lost and killed people. No! Bah! 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 Ah! Bah! Bah! Ah! You too, bitch! Shut up! Bah! Bah! No! You want one? Bah! 
Matten! No! Matten! I was supposed to wear the tournament. I'm the best Matten player in all Wisconsin. I never lose. We're gonna watch it quick. How does dude get a gun in there? How does dude get a gun in the tournament? I got a concealed carry license. Okay, that's nice. You got a concealed carry license, and it's legit and legal. Mm-hmm. But we playing video games, bruh. You ain't, they ain't got no, no middle detectors. No wands or nothing. The wave at his crotch and his ankles. No? This is a video game tournament. How you get a gun in they do? Huh? Huh? That shit sound like a setup. This motherfucker might have been one of them Manchurian candidates. I sound like a conspiracy theorist yet. I was trying to like, like, smooth it on like butter just a little bit. But... Just take note, it's pretty, uh, I mean, you don't see anything, but it's the audio that's graphic. And um, if you look at the black guy's chest, he actually does get a laser sight pointed at his left shoulder. Looks like they're probably going for a heart shot. I don't know if he's okay. I don't know what's going on with that. But again, this really just hits home for it being video games, as that's my content on YouTube that I make. And I was just at a video game thing, literally, in July. So... This really hits home, and I just want to make a video asking you guys to keep your thoughts and prayers out for them. And, uh, yeah, it's just terrible, and I don't know what we need to do to fix this, but there's so many sick people in the world. It's awful, man. Um, yeah, it says the shooting is taking place at Madden Esports Tournament in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm just seeing if there's any difference. Uh Yo, what up, XI? Yo, my man Art in the Dark said, Yo, D, what state you in? Yo, Art in the Dark just told me about this story, yo. Said they got them the Madden tournament going on. You know, like the, the gamer, the pro gamer uh, prize tournament for Madden or whatever. They got that shit. Oklahoma, okay, all right, all right. They got that shit going on in Florida, right? <laughs> yo. <laughs> yo, you heard this shit, yo? A motherfucker lost his round in the tournament. And fucking start popping off and, and shooting motherfuckers in that shit, bruh. Check this shit out. There's a lot of good games going on. It's a lot. It's going to be hard to get more screens. It's a lot. It's not a tough out today. Excuse me, not an easy out. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, did that motherfucker reload? Hold up, let me count these shots, yo. At the Madden tournament, motherfucker lost his round at the tournament and started popping off. He lost. Got a lot of good games, though. It's, it's a lot. It's just gonna be hard yeah. to get more screens. Let's a count. Lot. Let's count it's these shots right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine rounds. It's 10, 11, 12. Twelve rounds. He ended the whole clip. <clears throat> he shot, what, eight or nine? And then he stopped for a minute. That motherfucker was looking for everybody. Cause motherfuckers, he shot first. They bleeding out. Everybody else trying to run around the room. He popping at him, motherfuckers on the floor under the desk. You hear that little pause in between his shots. He must have come around the desk and seen other motherfuckers pop, pop, pop. Woo!
at the scene at this point. Uh, he is a white male and we are still working to confirm his identity. Uh, uh, at the scene at this point. Uh, he is a white male and we are still working to confirm his identity. He is a white male. Yo. That what I say. I didn't even hear that shit the first time, but that shit that's that's like some white boy shit. Like niggas don't do no shit like that, yo. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Yo, if you got people down there, that shit crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> Full six pack. I had five and shit. Still got one left. Speaking for nobody else but my motherfucking self. CDC doing cool, what's good? Friends, what's good? Art and education, cool. Man. Man, I should have gone, I should have got Corona. Be cool, man, make a switch. Listen, I may mention. I made mention of you less than 24 hours ago, Travis. We was in here in one moment. Our topic that we was on was for everybody to make mention of a streamer. What streamer do you know? 
that's never been in any stream war, stream battle. You ain't never tuned into any stream and heard them flexing with another streamer or seen them in some other streamers, stream text and in flexing some bullshit. Which one? I, 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 I own mine. I ain't necessarily been in other motherfuckers' stream giving them hell, but I done been to wars. So I'm, I'm, I'm excluded from that shit. <laughs> but your name got brought up. Your name got brought up. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. Uh huh. So now nah, I, I ain't never seen him place with nobody. Seen people trying to give him shit, not necessarily any other streamers. Random trolls. <laughs> Yo, you know it. Yeah, that's great. He he live right now. This is this his live stream right now. Yeah, this my man, yo. I chat, I chat with him sometimes. We play we play games together sometimes, yo. We cool as fuck, yo. I ain't, even, I ain't even gonna tell him I got him live. Like, he live streaming, and I got him live in my live stream. <laughs> yeah. I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna tell him that. <laughs> you hear what you listening to, yo? My man fucking chilling shit, yo. Travis. You know what we're gonna do now? The boards and shit, right? Hold up.
Uncle Sam, did you see that? That would have put, that would have put a black eye in the game. I don't give a fuck. Motherfuckers is joking. Back and forth is that. We've we done that. We done all dueled and shit. But, uh, children out of me. I'll never forget, I was one of the first, they asked me, yeah, I was one of the first people to have the screen wall. I swear to God, I started that shit. I didn't mean to, I know they didn't. Close friend, who I perceived to be a friend at the time, and it is, said some shit about mine to my children. And it was on. It was off. It was on. And I remember telling people in my street, hey, 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 y'all go over there and trouble the shit, but leave their kids out of there. Don't say nothing to the kids. And I was mean and jealous. 2013, early 14 shit. All before it, there were no screen wars, there were no screen battles, there was no screen was debating because everybody was cool, everybody was just me. He and I knew each other from Xbox. I was like, yo, okay, they don't grieve y'all. I ain't let them in. I said, nah, I'm gonna get down with the silverbacks. Uh, me and Sun had already had tight fallout, me and Captain Donut. And I was like, yo, that's not a good move. And I explained to him why. So I told him, yo, son was on some other shit, speaking some other shit. And like, nah. He says, nah, he thought I was just hating on son. I said, nah, I didn't know. So he went. And in the end term of him going there, he went there on some shit. And got them. Trying to get them to go get you. I promise you every fucking silverback within the silverback nation, I'm cool with. Except Hardy. Because of some of the things Hardy's done. It was just that fucking silver. We used to be cool. There were moments. And I call him Captain Donut.
Fucking um, at the convenience store down there a couple weeks ago in Clearwater, 
the white man shot him with that stain your ground shit because he came out the store he pushed him on the ground the white man pulled out a gun and shot him in the chest and killed him that shit was in clear water the store that that shit happened at my people was like that's that's my hood story like that's the store around the corner that i go to i was like where are you? he's like yo that's my hood store i was like that's fucked up yo I'll be showing up at motherfucking streams while they in the moment of having a good time, just like they trying to do my shit. Well, I ain't not, not either have a good time and be like, uh, you know, uh, nah, hey, you remember the time that you snaked me and did all this sucker shit? Can we talk about that right now? Because we never really did, and I ain't never really said nothing, you know, uh, and I, I'm here for that now. <laughs> That shit. That came out when I, when I first started smoking. Yo, I was in Florida when this shit came out. Everyone has one, everyone's stinks. Yeah, okay, oh, oh, I yeah, had my share of a screen war, but opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one, everyone stinks. Right. Yeah, I swear, yo, like, this is the time when I really first started smoking. It's Crucial Conflict put that song out. And I'm from the South, too. It's just, like, smoking on Hayes and Barn. I was, yo, we was yeah, fucking was cranking that yeah. shit, yo. Yeah. Smoking on. Yo, yeah, that shit was too perfect for the time. For that time period with me, yo, that song was perfect as fuck, well, yo. Know? Back on YouTube, I believe it was Graveyard Alliance. So, yeah, look up Graveyard Alliance. Last she talking to somebody searching through shit. What's that? Look up Graveyard Alliance on YouTube. I believe that was like the main tag. I got the cassette tape. I booked it for days. Hey, I still got some uh, some cassette tapes around. An unopened uh, big pun. Ooh, an unopened big pun? Ooh. I'm a shit. Not that. But, um, yeah, man. I'm glad, I'm glad with uh, all the resolve, man. Me resolve not having this shit. Now, all of us still have differences, but you have proper differences. I see that as well. Out of all the stream battles and shit or wars I've been through, I never once, ever, ever, ever once lied on nobody. Like, you didn't go, you didn't have this or shit. Nah, I was just wrong with the truth. That was it. Turn the truth into a joke. Some other jokes, but not lies, not a lot. I see a lot of people doing that shit. You know what I mean? Bring in extra, extra shit. I don't know what this. And that was the thing. I was the first initial thing. That's what started sparking the war. Start the initial war. There was a lie I said about my lady. The baby was like, yeah, my lady died on here. And said that she don't like black people. <laughs> Ooh, I was eating. I was eating at the jealous. <laughs> I was a cold face lie. We walked to races after that. And my lady been together 16 years. She don't like black people, right? Who could be funny? I started streaming a year after you streamed. No pain. Oh, yeah, after you streamed, uh, got clothes? Listen, back then, I was burying, I was burying like 16, 16 trolls per 
first string in this shit. When you sing, I ain't really dig their emotion, because you bury a motherfucker, but they just be buried for the day. And then back on you sing, they will report your channel, your channel will get buried, so you have to make a new one. So they be free again. I ain't gonna fuck with that one again. Well, well, I'm also, you know what I'm saying, just fighting for your right to party shit. Legalization had just happened. I, I was in the height of that shit when it was here. I'm, I'm, I'm so constrained with man different. These jobs right here, it's a house in every one of them. Right? They houses. I had a garbage bag, a big, super fucking size, hefty garbage bag. Like, not just the regular one, the extra shit. Filled with these. Filled with these. One year we saved up. I saved up all the chances to find out how much I consume. Five and a half to six pounds. That's what I sit down and burn myself all the way. Shit, chill. Motherfuckers couldn't imagine even keeping up with that. But really, there's no competition. It's just the you know, way it is. That's what, that's what life is these days for an inch. I'm good. Like, whatever. Well, you mad though, and I ain't gonna try to make nobody mad over here, you know what I mean? I've been gaming all over here. I've been playing on uh, Shadow of War. Killing ghouls and trolls and shit. It's a hack and slash game, you know what I mean? It's one of those gory, bloody. They ain't cut a motherfucking head off. Put the nice gray heart type shit. Dead by daylight, it was pretty fun. I had it when it first came out. I, I, I was playing Jason. That's why I was playing uh, Friday the 13th.
bitch. Give it up and let it go. You know what? Hey, but I've seen too many people do that. snapping to no trains. Stay in. And I saw that. It was. I can't hide. I'm sorry, so I can't pass judgment until I've heard both sides. I'm mad. And it's funny how the old guy dealt out. I didn't hear what it was. It was better to even just give y'all a platform to hear me speak it out. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just your boy, man. Just want to know the fuck is good. That's all. I do that. Yeah, that's just, that's me. And the funny thing is that I said I wasn't going to do that. I was saying that because of the situation that happened last time between some other people. And I got involved and I was like, you know what, man? I ain't helping motherfuckers out no more. If I happen to see some shit, I'm going to leave them to it until they see me. Fuck me. I want to get some own word. So let's look up that word out of anger. If you can, if you're in a position to help people, there's no reason why you should. You can even find a way to help the people that were trying to stop you from helping.
I'm telling everybody about that shit. I didn't text motherfuckers that shit. Yo, these motherfuckers shooting at the bad church. I told Graveyard that shit. Hey, he's talking about this bad church. Wait, yeah. You looking that shit up now, yeah? I'm telling you. That shit is wild as fuck. Son, that shit is fucking crazy, son. shit I heard here with the uh, father murdering his pregnant wife and their two daughters. God damn. Ages four and six. What? And the wife been pregnant? Down about a week ago. 
some of the video, and we got a video of the report for the week on this. I swear, man. Tournament. Everybody at the high school, everybody at the concert, everybody at the movie theater, everybody at the church. They just get everybody. Everybody get it. I be trying not to piss them white boys off. <laughs> Everything is graphic these days. Championship Series took place at the Game Bar in the Mall, aired live on Twitch TV. The Gaming Network. At least 12 shots could be heard during the shooting as players competed in the gaming tournament. The video game abruptly ended moments after the first shots were heard. And the audio is horrific. Aftermath continued to stream live. Police say one suspect, who they describe, wow, he's not caught. Okay. One suspect, why would he be a suspect? They didn't catch him? Nope. What they described as a white male was dead at the scene. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Authorities confirmed at a press conference Sunday. Oh, he did? He was? There were no other suspects in the shooting. The scene at the landing mall was secure several hours after, several hours after the shooting, after SWAT team was conducted a methodical search inside the shopping center. Authorities originally told patrols were told patrons who were hiding inside to stay calm. Patrons. Mm -hmm. Patrons told civilians. 
from behind the side of the economy. They didn't even become fucked up. They didn't even make mention of the deceased. You know, like, you know, like, who the hell passed away? Like, shouldn't they get that much credit? Maybe the parents of all families involved didn't want. And said in such a light, I doubt that. They didn't even release uh, his name, who he is. So, did this happen last week or today? I think it was today, right? Things that D everybody knows now. Everybody DK through with the information. <laughs> I honestly fear that you know incidents like this and other things of this nature will in other hood news. Motherfuckers getting shot at that video game the tournament. Nigga, like, I just came to play some games. Damn. Well, maybe not. You shot me? But if you it shot me. And it comes to that. People are not going to go count willingly. People are not going to just go to their local gun shop or the local gun armory and churn in their weapons. And that was today. It's today. Everything, all the videos are posted within the hour, two hours ago at most. So I thought that was today. They wouldn't be updated something that just took place last week. shooting at a football game no, convention? Sh- like, maybe it was called a duty. I kind of would have expected that, but... I ain't even buy Madden this year. This is the first year I didn't buy Madden. Not at Black Madden. Black Black you Black shooting Black at Madden? Madden? This ain't I even Call of Duty. Shit, I can't even <laughs> like, anymore. Wow. Period. That fucker, hey, I ain't even <laughs> thinking of <laughs> shit, yo. Hey, hey. Great rock, crazy. Crazy. Maybe at a Madden? I mean, at a... Call of Duty tournament? That's amazing. It was real hectic to see the whole uh, things together play football. College situation, right? Like, yeah, uh, 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 I got mad. I got mad. I mean, what? I actually do remember taking it back. Like, I'm not even playing these games. Cause it's no fun to play fucking sports games 
It's no fun to play the shooting games with motherfuckers glitching and doing extra shit. And it's really no fun to play the sports games with motherfuckers glitching and doing extra shit. So, you know, they kind of took the enjoyment out of that shit. I would buy the game and keep it for company that came over. You know, friends, uh, you know, in-house. But as far as multiplayer, nah, that shit is bad. Feel like I'm playing against actual football players out that motherfucker and shit. It's just like, oh no, <laughs> be good. Feel like being dominated every time I, you know, attempt to play a match and shit. But um, that's crazy. And so like, and what the fuck? You know, it's just like, what was that about? Was he, well, you know what I mean? It showed that he was registered as someone to play the games as well, and he lost. And instead of throwing a controller, he had a loaded weapon. Like, but that's, that's pre, that's premeditated. And then, how are you making it? into tournament events with weapons where there are no metal detectors. And if there were, now that sounds like the inside job. How do you get around the metal detector? Was it an all plastic gun? You know, one of the new that they make it up now, you can just have a 3D printer. Every matter in it is plastic. What gun did he use? Was the gun registered? Stuff. He didn't even give his age. He just said a white man. And then, and then I guess he took his life because they said they found him dead. Found dead on some location, so I, mean, I guess we're not going to get no answers. As of just yet. of them being a shootout at a country concert. They go no way, bro. Mm. Mm. Well, prayers out to the victims of the family. Families of the victims. This will now officially go down as a cursed game. They do that man. It's a matter of to who they put on the cover. They were saying that, like you can find that. Like there's this whole thing, man. This this ain't going over good at all. <laughs> at all. The Mad franchise might just be dead after this. Mm. I ain't think about that shit neither, yo. <laughs> Yeah, you show right about that shit. That shit might kill the franchise. To make it dire. Save the program because 20 is coming up, right? 20th year anniversary of that. Speak on the gun culture of white Americans. Why they always commit mass shootings? Because, big, right? All the 
were shooters, mass shooters, mass shootings committed by white people. Being racist or just being factual. For what I know. They all they were all well off in life. They all had it. They had, you know, the house, the family, the property. And it's how they were able to get a hold of a license to get the gun in the first place. But another thing that they share in common that we all share in common that they had. So they, they had a good life, but they also had a lot of pent up anger, hatred. Mm-hmm. Now, on one side, we have a lot of people that have pent up hatred, anger, frustration, hatred, out to hatred, but you don't see mass shootings coming from this population. They don't. They want what they need to have it all. Just good life. And that's what the continual pursuit is. On the other side, in the other percentage of the pie, they have it. So once you have it, and then you still have that same anger, it's like you don't even fuck about nothing no more. Like, for real, for real. There's nothing you give a fuck about because you already had it and you're bored with that shit. So it becomes, I think, derives from gluttony. And you mix gluttony, depression, and hatred together, you get yourself some mass shooters. Some mass, some, 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 you get yourself some serial killers. All right? Uh, I mean, the closest thing they got on, just being honest, is uh, what the DC shooter, him and his stepson, they were rolling around with hatred. It's very evident to you. But they're fucking outnumbered one to another 99 of Caucasian white uh, serial killers. So I think it comes from not from from having an overdose of having, not being appreciative to what you have, being blinded by rage and hate. That is an easy formula. So, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, fuck everything. And it could happen. So it's not just a black and white. You get your Latino, Latino as well. But uh, they, their crimes don't, their crimes don't go so mentioned all the time. But I don't want to get on their case. But they have their own classification of crime that they're involved in too. And it always involves some girls, some young girls and shit. But, just being responsive to the question that you're asking, in my opinion, I'm not really saying everybody's entitled to their opinion, we all have them. I think... You know, those instances where the child is telling the parent what the fuck to do. Don't tell them nothing. Shut up, mom. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to talk right now if I came up like that. Right? So what it is is a disregard for authority, a disregard for reality, a complete disregard for a lot of things. And then you put that and some hatred in this person's heart and mind and have them in their own mind feeling outcast, outcasted by society. You put a weapon in a person's hand like that, they're going to look to hurt everybody because they feel hurt by everybody. I'm not being no defender, but I'm just trying to understand and in the mind of someone that would do such a thing. Bremen, 1985. Guess what I need to do? It was like a, a million of you know, things and options. I, I have no idea. You're going to have to tell me. But, um,
So, you know, a disregard and, and, and that builds on a, uh, a mind state of insens insensitivity, you know what I'm saying? And they need to lash out. And then also because a motherfucker's had everything and they're not the suspect, along a lot of different junctures, they see, ooh, I can get away with this because I am, you know. They're not looking for me. I'm not being castrated as the daily criminal. That comes into mind, and they already, now they're, now they're hyping themselves up. I can get away, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? Oh my you know, god, this wood grain is. Yeah. Sorry? Oh shit. Why are you apologizing to me that you had a good time with your girl? It wasn't really that horrible in my experience. Maybe you should you know, check yourself about what you with. Hmm. I'm saying you got jokes, me too. How you doing, brother? I see you, you know what I mean, with aspirations of being a stand up comic. Welcome to the broadcast. <laughs> If you know you can get away with something, would you? If you know that you can, every year, get away with four bags filled with money off an armored truck, off of one of the, you know, Wells Fargo or whatever, you know, a Brinks truck. If you knew you'd get away with it, no problems. Nobody had to die or whatever. It, Nobody would ever find you or anything, and that money was for you. Would you take that money? I'm believing that 90 something percent would. Right? So if you believe you can get away with something, oh. uh, you know, scot free, then what's to stop you in attempting to do so? You know? Sounds like a logical piece, uh, thesis. That's a, I mean, that's just my take on it, you know. I've thought to myself before, you know, why? I don't want everybody be doing that shit. You know, there's other people that have these other theories and which reach out to the absence of melanin and what have you with. I don't support that theory because I know it's just because of the absence of pigmentation does not mean that there's not a soul inside that person. Right? Or that the soul in that person is wayward. That doesn't mean that. Because I have experience. I know. I've lived with. So. That's how that, you know what I mean? Kind of cancel that out and then just look well you know everybody's pretty much wealthy well off come from good situations and backgrounds they were a class students uh the head of the class valedictorian what the fuck happened all this time they were hiding they were they were burying and uh they were burying feelings and once someone is that far off into their belief, along with their belief system, no one but themselves can turn it around. No one. They're not hearing anything else. When you hear what the fuck you want to hear, you do have, they suffer heavily from selective hearing. All right? All these people, because, they, and then what do they, what is they always, there's always that too. That I didn't, I haven't done too much research of my own in, but I do have belief in. I, I just, you know, I don't know if it's a fucking excuse or the truth. That's the crossroad I'm at. As far as you always hear that they're hearing voices. Somebody told them to do it. 
and the devil told him to do it. Uh, I was hearing voices. Now, can't dismiss it as being crazy. We all hear voices. It's your damn conscience. You ain't got to physically talk to yourself, but if you stay quiet, you'll hear yourself speaking to yourself, thinking about certain shit, working shit out. So now, if you've already become your own enemy or made yourself your enemy to the world, felt like the world was your enemy, and then we equip you, because you can just get at it, because you, the way the world sees you, doesn't even know that you're going through this, but you can, you can get a, a weapon and everything. You never did anything. You never did anybody wrong. So now you want, uh, now you may do things wrong. So you want to go to the extreme. They done with everything else. You know what I'm saying? And, I, and, I, and then that just brings it right around to also, you know, being suicidal. Being suicidal. A lot of suicidal people, you know, I heard voices. It was them talking to themselves. Or, you know, we can get off into the other matter, but I don't. Uh, it's Sunday, I don't really feel like venturing there. I don't believe. too heavily that there is this ominous spirit that is able to possess any of us and will because again you know it's all people that are doing good you don't hear about the homeless serial killer we did we don't only like it might be an instance or some shit, but that ain't, like, I've never heard one, so but I'm just saying, you know, mathematically, it's probably an instance. But we don't hear these things. We don't hear motherfuckers that ain't got doing all this horrific shit. Now, people that ain't got doing horrific shit, yes, but we, we, we were talking about the mass killings and serial killings. People that ain't got don't have to be doing, they don't have what's required to pull off mass killings. Period. As ill as it may sound, they are out of the financial bracket to commit mass killings. It take money. Weapons ain't free. I mean, you may have a friend you can go to and get some heat and some shit like that could happen. I mean, but that's one gun, one clip at best. And person you go to, you know what I'm saying? They ain't finna supply you with seven clips around. Like, what you gonna do, bro? Like, what, what's going on? Look like you headed to war. That's a thing that, that was an unmentioned truth. I go there. I mean, we laugh it up. You know, uh, Cat Williams and some other comedians, you know, made big, made, brought about the humoristic light about uh, the medication and shit. But I hear it every time on every medication these days. Goddamn. Uh, side effects may be suicidal thoughts. Uh, you know, oh my God. like I'm just trying to get my knee better. You tell me I take this shit and I may have suicidal thoughts. You may please alert, uh, report to your doctor if you're experiencing, experiencing. You know, if you're going through all of a sudden out of nowhere, you're having suicidal thoughts, pain from your knee went away, but you ready, you, you ready to kill yourself. I would believe that that is something that is probably, I wouldn't put it past them, that big corporations pay to make that go away. So he shot a bunch of people, but he was no Adderall. Oh, we found traces of PCP in him. You know, they just made that adjustment down there at the, uh, what they call that shit? What 
toxicology report. Because we all be, we all be in, 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 waiting. So who, who, who was the deal? Oh, man, he was on PCP. Yeah? Yeah, man. We found PCP all through him. You know, we buried him and shit. He dead, gone. It was Adderall. Hmm. Or some other shit. And big company made that situation go away. But that was one of my patients. We did, and he was written on box. Uh, suicide thoughts it's not our fault that he didn't uh, check in with his doctor but listen here let's make this go away <laughs> because when was the last time that big corporation was held responsible fully responsible for the death the involvement in civilian deaths Easy one, like cigarettes. But that's just cigarettes. It's the last time a pharmaceutical company, because there's plenty of lawsuits, but they settle. Who <laughs> just got bread? That's an ugly man. We're sorry about your grandmother. You want what? racist or anything, just being factual. <laughs> hey, if there were a bunch of Latino or any other culture, Asian, Black, Indian, you know, any, any other, I would speak on that. I just don't have to know any other in such fashion while we're talking about serial killers and mass shootings. Well, we had it. Tossing mass suicides. Those are always like a white thing. Not saying, not feeding to you. Oh, white people are crazy. No, just mm, something else going on that we ain't quite all figured out. And I think, I don't know. I'm not sure, just my opinion. Might be on to something. Might have something to do with the gluttony, hate, and, and gluttony and hatred. Bad combination, very bad combination. To have it all and not be satisfied with what you have. You gotta move on to bigger and better things. Sample it once, get away with it, oh shit. Now you feel invincible, now you, now you, now you, you hope to something that happened, so you're back at it again. Now you're perfecting your craft, getting better at it. So by the time they catch up with you, shit. Motherfuckers sitting in jail, they don't want to give them the death penalty because they ain't found the 30 other bodies that he already admitted to do taking people's lives on and having them buried here. But if you want to know where the other bodies are buried, I'll help you solve a bunch of mysteries. Type shit. Hmm. Oh, man. That ain't normal shit. And while we had said matter, 
just because, you know, life's events brought it around. When is the last time you heard of a serial killer? When's the last serial killer? What was the last serial killer? Anybody? It is something. Who is the last well-known serial killer? It's Jeopardy. Dahmer was the last one? Who is that motherfucker? Who's the last serial killer? Let us speak to some. Right. I'm right with y'all too. I, I don't know. But funny, really not, but funny. Last time I was hearing about serial killers, why well, that was in the 70s, the 80s. They even got some shit like they played out all the way out for, for the 90s. But like ever since 2000, we ain't getting no more reports of serial killers. But serial killers just gave up. They said, fuck this shit. Serial killing is out. We ain't doing that no more. <laughs> no. They still eluding the law. Like they had, like the serial killers in those days were for quite some fucking time before they got found out. That's what's going on. Think not. And they, and there's so much bullshit going on. Back in the days, there was not so much bullshit going on. So serial killer, well, like I said, so just some bullshit was standing out. People want to look for that. They know what to look for. A lot of them got caught in, in that fashion. Fell into some traps and shit. too much bullshit going on to even focus on that these days in a way think about it so as I say at the end of all my broadcasts stay safe stay smart stay up you know what I mean with what just happened today and with that's been happening you don't know, I don't know, we don't know. Talk to your local gypsy about when the next negative public uh, situation is going to happen so that you're not there. You know, stay clear of malls this summer. That's why I have no problem kicking it with people here and making sense really don't make too much sense out there. It's, it's, it's beginning to make less and less sense.
transforms his face to look like an orangutan. Shadows putting work. Howard University student getting some dome in this room. This dome over is just showing shadows and shit. Racist Missouri security guard fired after ordering a Trayvon Mar Martin from a bar. Again, like I said, the insensitivity in this country is... years of serving drinks, he has never been offended like this. Someone asked for a cocktail called the Trayvon Martini, as in Trayvon Martin, and he says it only got more racist from there. Caroline Sweeney is live now to explain. Caroline? Well, Brad, this is something that no one wants to talk about. We've been in Westport all day, and even though this Facebook post got more than 1,000 shares, no one here has anything to say about what happened. Over the weekend, Alibar Bandeluth was working here at Buzzer Beach. The popular Westport bar is always busy on the weekends. After Bandeluth says he had a startling, uncomfortable, racist encounter with a customer, he turned to Facebook. He told his followers about a man who ordered a Trayvon Martini. The customer said it has one shot of vodka and watermelon juice because it only takes one shot to take him down. This is the man who Bandeloup says ordered the drink, Mike Dargy Jr. At the time, Dargy worked for the Chesley Brown International doing security around Westport. In the post, Bandeloup says he was shocked and refused to serve Dargy, then asked him to leave the bar. Now, we learned this morning that Mike Dargy Jr. also used to work for the Olathe Police Department. I got in touch with Sergeant Logan Bonney there. He says that Darby's employment lasted less than a year and it ended in 2016, but the reason for Darby's departure was not released. 
Now, within the last 20 minutes, we did get a statement from Chesley Brown International. I want to tell you what they have to say about the incident. They said Darkey was off duty at the time of the comment. And even though the internal investigation is still active, Darkey's employment with the company has ended. They also say that the company has no tolerance for hate, bigotry, or prejudice. Live in Westport, Caroline Sweeney, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Caroline. I look.
the third presents a continuing threat to the community, particularly in the female owners in the Cape area, where both of these cases have occurred. A prosecutor said that in one of those incidents, a man claims that he felt threatened by one of those female drivers, and that's why he opened fire. We're live at KDC for Houston. Matt Burry, KSU 11 News. Very strange stuff. Thanks, Matt. Well done. That was a white man. Woman who lied about rape rolls her eyes in court as her victims speak. It's one year, and it's a it's white lady versus black dude. Hold up. Now to that false rape charge, one year in prison, that sentence tonight for the woman who falsely accused two football players from Sacred Heart University in Connecticut of rape. The students say what she did has changed their lives forever, even though they have been clear of all wrongdoing. I'm going to see more Marcus Solis with our lead story tonight. He's live in Bridgeport. Marcus. That's right, Bill. Those two students were never arrested, never charged with any crime. But the accusation was serious enough. So much so, they say they had to leave school. Their reputation in tatters. She pursed her lips. She rolled her eyes. But Nikki Avito's body language couldn't change the outcome. A year in jail for telling a lie. A lie that cost two young men their college careers. Malik St. Hilaire was never arrested, but Yavino claimed he and another student raped her while all three attended Sacred Heart University in 2016. Instead, it was the Long Island native who was charged. When the police investigation revealed sexual activity had occurred, but was consensual. Prosecutors say Yavino made up the rape claim because she didn't want to upset another student she was interested in. Her willingness to accept this, um, this, this plea deal reflects her accountability for what happened. But it wasn't that simple. At first, Yavino insisted she had been assaulted and rejected a plea deal. It was only during jury selection before trial that she changed her mind again and pleaded guilty. I, I just hope that, you know, she knows what she's done. The fact that I don't be the same. I have anxiety, I have PTSD from this. It's bad enough that they were accused of such heinous behavior, though never arrested. But then to have their her story change over and over and over again, it's as if you were kicked while you were down. Well, the other student who chose to remain anonymous lost a football scholarship over this. Both men say they plan to sue Yuvio in civil court. As for the criminal case, she has been in custody since that guilty plea in June. It will count as time served towards that one-year sentence. And we're live in Bridgeport, Marcus Solis, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.
They raised four hundred thousand dollars for a homeless man, but never gave the dude the money. All right, guys, I'm about to get out of here for a minute. Almost finished. Almost finished with this wood grain. Just a little bit more right here. I'm going to call it quits after that. And we'll see. I'm hungry as fuck and my butt is hurting. I'm about to go watch the episode of Power. Give it to you guys later.